Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another car review, and today it's over the all new Toyota Camry all wheel drive. So, the new thing for the Toyota Camry in 2020 is the all wheel drive system. Prior to this, it was only front wheel drive, and they never had intentions uh, to make it all wheel drive. From high demand and stuff, they made it all wheel drive. So the 2020 Toyota Camry, it does look really good in my opinion. It's a really good looking car. My favorite, my favorite spot is this curve right here. Goes down onto the trunk lid from the roof. I think that looks really, really good. And driving it up here to this area that I'm at, it was a good drive. Uh, it's not far at all, don't get me wrong, but it rides really nice. And I, I like it. I could see myself having one of these. So here is the power plant to the new 2020 uh, Camry. It is a 2.5 liter four cylinder. So you guys might be asking, why is it four cylinder and not a six? Well, only six, only, pardon me, only 6% of Toyota Camrys out on the road are six cylinders. More people lean towards the four cylinder because it has a better fuel economy and it's just overall better. And so for the all wheel drive, they decided to go with the four cylinder instead of the six cylinder because it was just more reasonable to them. Now, the figures this is a 2.5 liter four cylinder and it has 202 horsepower with 186 pound feet of torque. All right, so this car gets 25 in the city, 34 on the highway, with a 28 MPG combined. All right, one thing to note about the all-wheel drive Camry, it is only in North America. It won't be anywhere else. It's made here in Kentucky, United States, and it's just for the North American market. All right, so, so another thing that's new for the 2020 Camry is a heated steering wheel. So that would come in very, very handy in the winter time, and I'm jealous that my car doesn't have that. All right, so as you can see, it has a big touchscreen uh, infotainment center, and really, overall, it's just a really nice looking cockpit up here. Really like it. It's really clean, really, really nice, and everything is just right there at your fingertips and everything is nice to touch, nice feeling, and I really give Toyota a thumbs up with this cockpit. The heated seats are right here behind the cup holders and in front of the armrest, the center console. There's a different drive modes right here, Eco, Normal, and Sport. We'll talk about those a little bit more. Alrighty, so this infotainment center is touchscreen just like all the other cars we talked about. But you can also go home and do a bunch of different stuff through the buttons on the side. But it's also touchscreen if you wanna go around to different places. For audio and stuff like that. Currently it's shut off because copyright issues. But you can do a lot on here. This car does have Android Auto Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa. You can do this where it just shows your phone. You can connect your phone, different apps that you can get on here. A lot of cars have different apps for like weather, sport, uh, just different things that's going on in your area. You can choose your destination, it has navigation and all that cool stuff. Now, like I said earlier, Let's talk about the different drive modes. So, as you can see right here, it just looks okay. But, keep an eye out, I'm gonna change it to sport mode. See, so sport mode got activated and that sport mode light just came on up on the left hand corner. But right on the bottom, it changes to red. Alright, and change back to normal. 
is back to blue and eco is green. All right, so in between your two gauge clusters is a small four inch screen if I'm correct and it is a bit dark. Um, I am holding the camera decently close so it's not as dark as if it w is for me but yeah it is a bit dark in my opinion I would like to have it a little bit more brighter just a little bit but other than that it's pretty good it shows your uh, what's on it has your fuel and how many miles you have to empty and it also tells you in a bar if you're getting good or bad fuel economy while you're driving so it's really informative as well all right so right here at the bottom of your infotainment center is your uh, ac and it's just cool buttons not dials buttons your dials are right up here and those buttons are really good touch uh, i really like how they are uh, they feel really good, high quality. Alrighty, so to turn on your heated steering wheel is over here on the left side of the steering wheel with a bunch of different buttons and it's the last one right here. So yeah, and to open up the fuel door, you just click and hold that. And you can also auto light, turn off uh, traction control if you want to have some more fun. And all your windows in this car are automatic so that is really cool i think more cars should be like that where all the windows are automatic just makes it easier because you just have to click on once and then your hands are back on the steering wheel so right down here right below the infotainment center is your wireless phone charger just throw your phone on it and it starts charging but if you have if you already have a phone on there or if you your phone doesn't work or something here is two outlets that you can charge your phone with and here in the center console there's two more as well now we're while we're here at the center console it's not bad it's pretty good size good storage and you can fit a good amount of stuff in here as well alrighty so the one that I am reviewing today does come with your sunroof and it is a really good size sunroof uh, the movable part is of course up in the front, but there's also one in the back above the passengers. It does not, it does not move, but it's still pretty cool that there's one pretty much across the whole roof of the car. Alrighty, so I'm in the back now, and this is the driver's seat obviously and stuff, but it's set at where I would like it at, uh, where I drive at and stuff, and I really like it. It's good leg room back here I still have quite a bit of leg room I don't feel cramped or anything and I am six foot three and I just fit back here perfectly fine and it's really comfortable for me my head doesn't hit the roof at all so yeah and here is that other sunroof This also have vents in the back as well. Thumbs up. Thank you, Toyota. More, more cars should be like this. This is my, one of my biggest issues about a lot of cars. It doesn't have vents back here because the vents up there would be blowing really hard. And when you finally start feeling it, the people up front might already be cold because you're getting the full blast of it. While you're back here, still quite hot or whatever. And they have to just bear with it until you are at good temperature. But when this is back here, they don't need to do that. So thumbs up. Thank you so much, Toyota. The armrest does, does fold down. And it does have two cup holders. Alright, so one other thing about the all-wheel drive is it is a $1,400 option across the Toyota Camry lineup. So just keep that in mind but in my opinion it's worth the fourteen hundred dollars especially here in north america if you're out in the rocky mountains or out midwest in like a big snowstorm or up in canada it will work really really well 
also I just click and hold that button and there on the left hand side of the steering wheel to open up the trunk the trunk door opens up all the way for you that's pretty cool so you don't have to come back here and open it yourself this does have really good storage you can also fold down the rear seats to get even more storage but this is a good everyday family car so this car does have uh, blind spot monitoring but it also comes with a lot more stuff already this does come with a JBL sound system there's a speaker up there on each pillar down there on the doors you know it's normal but right behind the passenger seats is a big speaker from JBL Alrighty, so I am driving the 2020 Camry and just from the small amount that I've driven it feels really nice I like it and it does have some speed from that 2.5 liter uh, four-cylinder the all-wheel drive system does help put down the power help get you uh, moving and I really like that uh, so if you're in a sticky situation just put down uh, your foot and you get out that situation really fast it's a smooth ride and it's a quiet cabin. Uh, there's not a whole lot of cabin noise and it's a really good family car. As I said, the Toyota Camry does get a really good fuel economy, but the all-wheel drive system does take away a, a little bit. It takes away four MPG, not too much, uh, but it's still a little bit that you're losing, but overall this still has really good fuel economy. But one other thing that I already mentioned is the safety features. It does have lane departure assist, blind spot monitoring. It also has automatic high beams. Alrighty, so I am here. I just put it into sport mode and Yeah, it definitely does <laughs> a little bit. It does make you get up and go way faster than if you were in normal or eco mode. Alrighty, that would be it for this review over the 2020 uh, Camry XLE all-wheel drive. If you guys liked, don't forget to smash that uh, subscribe button and leave a like as well. Huge shout out to Toyota Fort Wayne. They're letting me uh, drive their cars as well. Uh, and this was my very first time actually driving a car for the uh, review. Super stoked about it. Can't wait. For, uh, can't wait to do more. They're super friendly people. They're doing their part to help me grow, and I'm doing my part to help them out as well. And I, uh, it's it's a win-win situation. Uh, they're putting us, putting me up on their Facebook page, getting me out, and I'm helping them uh, get their product out as well, helping them sell more cars but they have a good inventory in. This is one of the very first uh, Camry all-wheel drives that they got in as well. But yeah, that would be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, but as always, adios, chaps.